Hello everyone, Akshay here. Today we will do the task 1 in structure text. If you love uh, C programming, then this language is for you. And the major advantage of this language is that you don't require a software environment like Unity Pro Excel to write the program. As you can see from the, we have done the program in the ladder diagram, you require a special symbols to write the program. But for structured text, you just require a notepad and you can simply write it so you will get the things clear after we do the program and structure text go ahead in a section say new section task one st for structure text the language has already been selected say apply close the window go into the program editor window and say if basically i'm saying if my start button is pressed or my motor one is energized and at the same time my stop button is not pressed then set my motor this is the assignment operator that is motor one sorry this is my assignment operator colon is equal to one and else if this condition is not satisfied do this do what is set the motor one assignment operator to zero that is off the motor and remember you don't need to have a semicolon after the conditional statement but at the end of the conditional statement you do need to have a semicolon so and underscore if so my if statement is ends here so semicolon so my motor one will start what about my motor two it should start after a delay of five seconds so i need to have a timer go into the ffp assistance type ton enter so i have a timer so i don't require an enable button so go ahead delete it so and what will be my input to the timer it will be definitely motor one motor one and pt is the timer time what will be the duration it will be if we mention duration in t hash 5s for seconds and what will it start it will be my motor 2 so we are done with the program let's go ahead test it as i as you all know the best way to learn is to simulate program uh, okay we have a warning in here so let's check the program we do have a warning in task 1 st that is the same program so let's oh, okay so let's check in if start or motor and not stop then motor one set else and if uh, yeah I haven't got rid of that bracket so let's go ahead rebuild it okay so let's go ahead and test the program connect transfer the project to plc remember people do forget to run their program you can go up in here say run and say okay so my program is up and running so let's test the start button highlight it set it value to one my motor one has already started my motor one should start in while now yeah my motor two has started so as we are using uh not latching contact so we'll set it value to zero it's similar to lifting our finger let's hit the stop button set it value to one yeah my both the motors have stopped now so you have seen how easy it was and uh, how the software or how the PLC executes the program is from top to bottom, left to right. So if you are happy with C programming, then this language is for you. Do try this and have fun learning. Enjoy your rest of the day. Thank you.